Good afternoon, I'm Peyton Johnson. And I'm Nick Russo, and this is Wolfpack News for Thursday, January 22nd, 2015. Please be aware that Oswego Police Department is working with the administration to improve the safety of all individuals entering and exiting the school campus. Earlier this school year, the police department began to direct traffic into campus from Harvey Road. Since this has been put into place, more and more drivers began to enter through the one-way bus exit just a little down the road. This one-way bus exit does not meet the requirements for a two-lane entrance. Police will ticket all individuals who continue to use the one-way exit as an alternative entrance. Old Post Elementary School is having a fun fair February 13th. Volunteers are needed to run games booths and face painting. Go to Student Services to pick up a form. The next PC Gaming Club meeting is tomorrow from 2.35 to 3.35 in E396. See Mr. Thurwell with any questions. The next meeting for Mathletes is tomorrow at 2.30 in room F327, where they'll be discussing their upcoming math contest. Please plan on attending for details. And now it's time for entertainment. Here's Alicia. The Winter Bash Dance from 2015 is on February 7th from 6.30 to 10 p.m. The theme is Whiteout. Tickets go on sale during lunches next week for $20 and are $25 at the door. All students need a current student ID to enter. Concessions will, and coat checks will be available. If you're bringing a guest who is not an OEHS student, you will need a guest pass. They're available in the Dean's office and are due back next Friday. OE Musical this spring is Beauty and the Beast. If you're interested in the auditioning, consider attending the audition workshop tomorrow at 3.15 in the community room. The workshop will introduce how to audition, music, and choreography sessions. Auditions for Beauty and the Beast will be held February 2nd and 3rd. Questions? See Miss Shrimp in J215. The Sandwich High School po Post Prom Committee is asking for dresses to sell at their ninth annual prom special occasion dress sale. The event is being held at Timber Creek Best Western Location Sandwich. The sales include gently used prom, homecoming, and graduation dresses. The committee is accepting items for the sale Sunday from 12 to 4 p.m. and next Monday through Wednesday from 5 to 8 p.m. The items must be in good, recently clean condition. The sales the sale dates are following four days, next Thursday and Friday from 5 to 8 p.m., Saturday, January 31st from 9 to 4, and Sunday, February 1st from 12 to 4 p.m. Dresses that do not sell can be picked up after the sale or donated to the two girls who may not be able to afford a new dress for their prom. That's all for entertainment. Now back to the Anchor Desk. Do you like to write short stories, poetry, or anything in general? If so, join the Literary Magazine Club. The first meeting is today in room F228 at 2.35. See Mr. Sweeney or Ochoa with any questions. Senior guys and gals, order your class shirt with your 2015 class name on the back by next Friday. Several shirt styles are available. Order forms and samples are available in student services, the chocolate table, or the muffin Monday. East TV will be right back after this message. This is What are you doing? I'm playing a game. <laughs> Read a book, you dingus! Look at all those readers! Remember, Wolves, there's more to life than electronics. Here at East, we have a free and fully functioning library. Feel free to stop by and check out a book anytime. All semester one pottery students who have work in the pottery classroom, B270, that was not specifically kept for display, must collect their projects immediately or they will be thrown out. Tomorrow is the last day any items will be available for pickup. 
ACT prep is available for the next five weeks on Thursday and on Tuesdays and Thursdays after school from 2:30 to 3:30, January 26 to February 26. Any student interested in math ACT prep should report to the third floor math office in the F hallway side. Similarly, to any student interested in English ACT prep should report to the second floor English office in the F hallway. Now it's time for sports. Here's Riley. The Oswego East Lady Wolves just edged the Lady Royals with a buzzer beater from Jada Boatwright, assist from Nia Flowers to break a 35-35 tie to end the game on Tuesday night. Leading the charge was Jada Boatwright, 11 points, 5 rebounds, and just Cindy Thomas, 10 points and 2 steals. Sydney Schultz also grabbed 7 rebounds, and the victory moved their, their record to 14-7 overall. The boys and girls basketball teams are currently selling neon shirts for this year's Crosstown Bright Out game versus Oswego on February 6. The shirts are $10 each and can be brought from any boys or girls basketball player from until tomorrow. The goal is to have every student and teacher in a 2015 Bright Out shirt at school on, Feb on Friday, February 6, and then that night for the girls and boys varsity game at OHS. If you have any questions, please contact Mr. Coretto. There's also a mandatory girls track and field meeting to, to Today at 2.45 p.m. in the community room. The first official practice is on January 26th, right after school. See Coach Cook if you have any questions. That's all for sports. Now back to the Anchor Desk. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Peyton Johnson. And I'm Nick Russo. Join us again tomorrow here on East TV Channel 16. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a great day.